Hey folks, Red here. I'm just thinking out loud. I was thinking the other day, you can't put an old head on young shoulders. It's one of those old time phrases, isn't it, that you hear people talking about. And I was, as something had happened in my life and I just thought to myself, I wish I'd have known this years ago. I wish I'd have understood this better years ago. And that gets you thinking why you can't put an old head on young shoulders. You see, we, we send our children to school and we teach them things. We teach them how to add up and subtract and we teach them how to write and what words mean and a little bit about geography and history and science and stuff like that. And all these things are fairly important. But they're not really important. I mean, one of the things that does frustrate me is I know how to, or I, I could probably try and remember how to solve a quadratic equation, but nobody ever taught me how to understand or apply for a mortgage or something like that. And those are the things that most people will use in their lives. But that's that's a different point. The, 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 the life lessons that you learn, how to deal with people how to understand what sort of people people are how it feels to be bereaved or how it feels to be in a relationship with somebody and stuff like that we don't teach these things at school and to be honest I, when I thought about it I thought we shouldn't then the more I thought about it I decided you almost can't because the, the things that we teach at school are I use the word immutable. We can say to a child, right, there was this chap back back in the day called Henry VIII and he had six wives and here's a little story about them. And apart from the minor details, we know these things to be pretty muchly as facts. We can discuss about the whys and the wherefores and the emotions and the reasons but we do know there was a chap called Henry VIII and he had six wives. We could teach them mathematics. It's quite easy to demonstrate that two plus two equals four and, uh, you know, knowing your eight times table might possibly be useful. Although in the modern days of calculators, it's maybe not so. So we can teach these things because the fairly fixed and we can also teach children to have discussions about things like yeah Henry the eighth had eight what well, uh, get that right Henry the eighth had six wives but why did he have six wives learn to form opinions on things learn to put those thoughts into some sort of cohesive sentence and write them down for a report and stuff like that that's fair enough but can you imagine trying to teach kids, for example, can you imagine trying to teach kids about how to have a relationship? Because relationships are infinitely variable. My relationship with my girlfriend won't be the same as your relationship with your partner. What works for me won't work for you and vice versa. What what's healthy for me and my partner won't be healthy for you and what's unhealthy and correspondingly when you're dealing with something immutable like mathematics or the facts about history that's fine when you're dealing with people's emotions and experiences everybody's going to have different emotions and experiences take taken a life event two people might be involved in exactly the same road crash and have the same injuries and stuff like that but they they will feel differently about them they will experience them differently so you can't really train somebody to or teach somebody about how these experiences will feel maybe you can teach them how to uh, some techniques and t tips 
that might help them to cope with certain situations or to understand certain situations but you can't show them how they're going to feel because they are individual they are absolutely unique so when I came around to that way of thinking I did start to understand why we teach immutable things at school and why we don't teach how you're going to feel about things I still think there's room and I am aware actually that certainly here in the UK I think there's room in the education system or they should make room in the education system to teach the things that may be beneficial for some people as they grow up in terms of how to cope with things or how to understand things how to negotiate with people how to share and work together and those kind of things rather than just spoon feeding them a stream of facts during the year and then expecting them to regurgitate those exact same facts at the end of the year I dare say I dare say education has moved on a little from pure regurgitation but as with everything in life there's always room for improvement isn't there anyway that's me just thinking out loud cheers